Oh, we're just getting thrown right into this. Alrighty then. Hey, what's up, guys? My name, of course, is Wings, and welcome to a free indie horror game on Itch.io. Um, fuck, I don't remember what this was called. Give me a second. Patient 1890. I believe this is part of a game jam that has passed. I don't know if it's part of any jam going on right now that I'm aware of, but it was part of a game jam, and I was unaware of this when I downloaded it. I was reading through the things, and I don't know what it's about. It's about, about puzzles or something. I don't know. Anyways, we're going to jump into this shit because there's no menu. It just throws us into it right away. So, I'm told there's a lot of jump scares. And we're gonna see if we can find those. Sound good? Sound good. What the hell was that noise? Some, oh, I just went through that. Okay, so you can go through stuff. Off to a great start. You can open doors from like, down the hall. It's letting me in, wait, do I have to be close to it though? No, I, it's just like, enable the power. Okay, you can interact with doors from down the hall. So we're already off to a great start. Door, door. What's dark in here? It's really dark in here. I can't see a goddamn thing. Hello, Mr. Vault Tacular ca calling. Hello? Alright. Yeah, I can't see absolutely anything, but... Except for what's right in front of me, okay? So we're in some kind of... Weird room with pipes and stuff. Wow, this commentary is so nice. So we're in a room with, with, with stuff in it. Obviously. Looking for a power switch? I don't... Wait, 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 generator. Boy! Gotcha! Find a way to the doctor's office. So we're looking for the... Oh! scares. That's how you know you got a quality game when you know you can't do anything better than jump scares. That's how you know you got a quality game. Locked. Hmm. Hello? What? You gonna jump scare me again? Uh, locked in. I haven't had much time to write this. I think he's on to me. The doctor, doctor, his office just room next to mine, left uh, to the left. He's not. I think he is. Uh, I can hear him on late night shifts, donating, ch donating, donate to my Patreon, <laughs> chanting away in some weird language. I can't quite place. And the patients are the ones that are. And the patients are one that are mad. He's responsible for all the damn weird things that are happening to them. The patients, the mysterious disappearances, all of a sudden, loss of all sanity. And I don't know what he's up to, but. But by God, I'm going. By golly, I'm going to confront him tomorrow, and he's going to kill me tonight during his prayers. I don't know what nightmarish things I will discover. Blah blah blah, dude. This who who wanted him to go with this font? Not a big fan of the. Hey, 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 fucker! Oh, he doesn't like me. Okay, hi there. He wants me. Little does he know, I don't want him. Can he go through doors? Can he? Okay. That's the generator room. We don't want to go in there. Is that a door? <gasps> Dude, come on. Cheap fucking jump scares. This is a doctor. This is a morgue. Where? So what, we're looking for a key? Uh, 
like the jump scares are on point. Don't get me wrong. They they work. Well, that's all it's got so far. And I'm not trying to be like harsh on the game or anything. Uh, but just like when you make a horror game, you know, you got to Now I'm digging the atmosphere. I'll give him that. The dude put together a good atmosphere. Find a way into the doctor's office. Dig in the atmosphere. Already been in here. Key. Okay. Key to the morgue. Possibly. We can sprint. Okay, I didn't even realize. Jump scare. What? Well, we don't have a key to that door. What does the key go to? Is there a door over here? No. Jump scare? Hello? Anybody? Is there another door in here? Maybe. Ooh, I hear noises. At least they didn't go with red equals like scary. You know, it's all like yellow and these textures are just like, they, like I don't know what engine this is. I think it's made in Unity. These textures are like, they just they just scream Unity. But it said that was custom made textures. Okay, I can barely read this, so please bear with me because my reading is terrible when it comes to any font that isn't fucking Sans. Patient profile 19 or 1890. So they already fucked up. Forename Herbert. Surname West. Herbert West. Herbert West. Affliction. Acute insanity. Severe anxiety. Uh, disorder. Dysphoria. I don't know. Paranoia. Maybe. No, it's frequently states his desire to please a mysterious group only uh, exists to only, only refers to as them when referring to those. Entities simply points towards the darkened corners of the room. Nothing is even there upon investigation. Assuming by doctors to a mere hallucination, I believe him to be seeing the old ones. A, a pr pri privilege? I don't know. Something of mad duty. Judy, I don't know. When asked why he refuses to take the medication, he simply state, stated that he has no desire to live in this imperfected and perfect form patients has been uh, under doses of provision due to suicidal tendencies for some time now um, I don't know what that says lady something off the after admission to the facility patient attempted to um, Hank kill HUD it looks like it says HUD to me I'm assuming it says kill maybe himself Oh, throw himself out the window on the fifth floor of Howard Building. Can I like zoom in on this? Is that it? Okay, whatever. Building, blah, blah, blah. Hogan Sludge, shadows through the offense. Patients rapidly observing. Okay. If you guys can read better than me, I'm sure you already read that about six times over. And I'm just trotting along behind you. Uh, the dev also said he built this game on a pretty high-end PC and didn't have a lot of time to really optimize it and you can tell because you know I've got a 1080 and it's still a little a little choppy here and there then again I am running OBS and everything else did I get anything in here do I is there anything in here I'm missing gotta be something that I need like a key maybe get into the morgue investigate the Fix the face cam. Okay. Let's get into the operating room. So that's the morgue. Ah, oh, dude. Wait, so what happens? Uh, I don't want to like risk dying and restarting. I want to show you what happens if it gets me and see for myself. But I don't want to risk dying and restarting. Ward 26. Let me get to the operating room. Guys, help me find the operating room. If you see it, scream at me. 
Hi. Okay, that's the doctor's room. Janitor's closet. Ward 26. These random jump scares are a little annoying though, if I'm gonna be perfectly honest. Uh, operating room. I was just in here. What do I need in here? Am I looking for anything specific? What do I need in the operating room? Something on here? Oh, here we go. Okay. Uh, operating operation report of patient 1890. Herbert West. No affiliation to Frank West. Affliction, acute sanity, blah, blah, blah. Surgery type, research. Research removal and observe observation of organs uh, While little seemed different to the patient's brain structure upon investigation or investigation inspect same thing whatever We were given little time to conduct our observations as a power caused all the lights within the building to shut off by the time the lights were uh, Returned the patient had died and his veins blackened and skin Oilment began to spread across his skin within minutes and consumed in black shroud and the patient fall victim to this odd affliction Patient will soon be transferred to the morgue. I'm in my underwear, by the way. Just thought you guys should know that. Jump scare. Give it to me. Here we go. Hi. Oh, that's him. That one didn't scare me. I knew it was coming. I was ready for that one. Oh, and then the game just... And then the game just closed. All right, lovely. That was good. Okay. Well, that was Patient 1890. So, not a bad horror game by any means. Definitely better than what we played yesterday, which was The Last Light. Um, it it had a unique atmosphere. The atmosphere was a little silent hilly, but then again, a lot of games um, tend, to, tend to go straight with either Resident Evil or Silent Hill because those were the games that, like, kind of made the staple... And like the, they kind of set the bar for horror games. So a lot of you know indie devs try to mimic that experience because Silent Hill and Resident Evil both did them very well in two different ways. Silent Hill being more psychological and insane, whereas Resident Evil is more zombies and you know just kind of general horror in itself. This one took a bit of a Silent Hill approach to it, which is always good, always a good thing. Like I love Silent Hill, so anything that is Silent Hill related or anything that looks or acts like Silent Hill in any way, I love. But when it comes to something like this, I don't know. The jump scares were just a little too much. There, there was, I mean, there there was time in between jump scares. Don't get me wrong. There was there was enough time between, but they still happened just a little too often for my liking. Not that I'm like a pussy. I can't handle jump scares, but when they happen like every five minutes. It gets a little old pretty fast, so maybe tone back the jump scares a little bit. Uh, the gameplay was fine. The game played pretty well in in that department. Um, I didn't really have any issues controlling the character and maneuvering around. It was a little dark in the beginning, and then when you turn the generator on, it does brighten things up a little bit. Maybe go with a different font for illiterate fucks like me. There's nothing wrong with that font, but for people like me who are borderline retarded and can't read uh, fonts that, <laughs> that aren't just basic fucking letters... They may maybe go with a more universal font, but I don't know if if the if the devs watching this video, which I doubt, you did a good job on the game. Um, I recommend it to anybody who wants to play a short horror game to kill some time. It's nothing to write home about, but it was a game jam game and it had to be done in a pretty pretty quick amount of time, which makes it you know that much better because of what he was able to accomplish in a short amount of time. But not to compare him to other people, but there are devs who done way more than that in a shorter amount of time. So, um, I don't know if this is his first game or how many games he's made in the past, but for what it was, it was okay. So I give it a, eh, I give it a seven out of 10. I would, I would give it an eight, but the jump scares just happened a little too often and they were a little, they were, they were just a little over the top for my taste for what they were. They were just a little bit over the top. But, I mean, then again, Visage has a little bit over-the-top jump scares. But, that I mean, that's just me. But Visage is great. This game isn't bad. I'm not dogging it. I'm not trying to, anyways, because it, it is a good indie horror game. 
So if if you want something that you can play for 15 minutes to pass time, recommend checking this out. It'll be on it's on itch.io. Link will be in the description if you want to try it for yourself. Let me know what you guys thought of this game in the comments down below. For some reason, I catch myself saying description. When I say let me know what you think of in the and I'll say description, I mean to say comments. Let me know this game in the comments below and uh, check it out for yourself. Play it and all that jazz. And yeah, we'll end this here. And I'll see you guys in the next one. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to smack the shit out of the like button. Show your support for my uh, show your support for my channel. If you want to subscribe, be sure not wait to part of those videos, upload videos every single day, every Saturday and Sunday. And be sure to tick that little bell icon. Be sure you're notified every time I upload a fantastic video. And I was the other be wonderful, beautiful as human beings. In the next video. Goodbye, guys.